What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Handsome, say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Oh, gosh, you're so cute. What the heck? Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Anyway, now back to this. Today's video, we are gonna do a full on reset day because my house is a mess and I was planning to like start my week. It's Monday, so I was planning to like start my week and start all these new habits. Yeah, he's like, that's what you said, mom, but you're not doing it. But it's really hard to do that when your place is a mess. So we're going to reset today. We're gonna to basically get the house ready. We're gonna do laundry. We're gonna clean. We're gonna meal prep. We're gonna grocery plan. We are gonna vacuum. We are gonna do it all, everything. So put on your big girl panties because we need to be big girls. It just needs to happen. So, yeah. What do you think about that? Thank you for the support. Before we get started, I think I need to give you guys an overview of what this place looks like right now. So let's get some before footage. Here is the current kitchen. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, do, it just gets worse. Yeah, that's that's there. Look how gross the couch is. Office. Now you have seen the mess. First order of business is changing. Like, listen, you don't have to look cute, but you can't be in your pajamas. Cause I feel 78% lazier when I'm wearing pajamas. So we need to change. Are you ready? Who did you think of that? Was that so cool? Was it so cool? The transition or did it not even work? 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 <laughs> I'm a crazy lady. Yeah. And back at it again with the dog jumping up. But I love you. I love you. You're my best friend. Okay. Next order of business. We're going to make a list of everything we want to get done today. Because. I don't know. In my head there's like 75 things we need to do. And I need to put it on paper. Here is the list I'm using. It is from Wild House Paper Company. that how you spell vacuum? I have a general list of what I want to get done today. I want to do laundry with, which means my clothes and also our bedding. I also want to wash our couch cushions. So that's like three to four loads of laundry that I want to get done today. So we need to start that ASAP. Also dishes and like cleaning the kitchen. I want to meal plan so I can grocery shop and vacuum everything and also just organize and put things away is a big priority so we're going to break it down by times to help keep us on track and see what is realistic i think right now it's about noon so we'll start filling in the time for there i've broken up our times we're going to start with our first load of laundry we're going to do the bedding first 
because that's important that that is ready to go for tonight because we need bedding. We only have one set of bed sheets. They need to be done first. They need to be made. The bed needs to be made first, like number one laundry priority. So we're going to start with that. While that laundry is going, I'm going to cook, okay? You may be like, why are you about to cook? It's because if you're going to need to make a mess today, do it before you clean because like it's going to be so unmotivated. Like the worst thing is when I do all the dishes and then I have to cook dinner. It's like now I have to do the dishes again. So what we're going to do also when you're grocery shopping and meal planning, there's like a 10% chance that you're going to get home with all your groceries and cook something with it. You're probably going to eat pizza from Costco. So what we're going to do to avoid that is we're going to meal prep. I'm going to throw some stuff in a crock pot. It's going to make a nice soup for tonight. And that can be cooking all day while we're doing our reset. And that way we have something to eat tonight and we don't have to mess up the kitchen today at all. It'll be cleaned once and then it will be amazing. We'll have like two bowls to clean after dinner. Immediately, since I'm already in the kitchen, once that's going, I'm going to clean the kitchen. I'm going to do the dishes. I'm going to throw on a YouTube video or a podcast. That always helps me clean better. Not better, but just keeps me company when I'm cleaning. I think my friend, we're going to hang out and we're going to hang out by going grocery shopping together. I don't know, but it'll probably be more fun than doing it alone. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't like grocery shopping with other people. So maybe it'll be fun. Well, let's hope that it's fun. That is the plan. So let's get to it. We're going to start by throwing in all of the bedding. And guys, watch what happens as soon as I want to do something. Handsome is there. Never fails. He's always there in the way. I don't know if it's like an intuitive dog thing. They just know where to be at the wrong time. was tiring. Okay, it is 1 p.m. now. I finished the first load of laundry. I think it just stopped, so I'm gonna move it over. Another tip is to just set timers if you're doing laundry all day, cause it's easy to like forget about it if your laundry doesn't beep. And, and then you just kinda like waste time in between loads. <clears throat> so I'm gonna move that over and then start the second laundry load, which means I need to strip the couch cushions and get all of those covers off. My wonderful husband came home and offered to finish doing the dishes, so that is helpful because I probably would have been a little bit behind schedule if I had to finish those. So 
let's go get the couch ready to be washed and then we'll start vacuuming and just tidying up the living room. Did you hear that mom's trying to do something on the couch? So you're gonna get on it? Next order of business is taking care of the bedroom. So our bed frame, I mean, with Handsome, just collects dog hair. If I could go back, I'd probably get the beige color because you can see all of Handsome's dog hair here. So I'm gonna vacuum around the bed. This is something I wanna try to do on a daily basis, like really quickly in the morning so it doesn't get this bad. And then there's a couple stains that I wanna spotch spot treat that one so that's what we're doing next right Next order of business is breaking down all of my recycling and just like getting it out of the house because right now I have a big pile behind these cushions of boxes and in Hawaii, maybe this is the same in other places, but the recycling does not get picked up at your door. You have to take it to the recycling center and sort it and put it all in bins. So. I'm gonna get all organized and just put it outside so it's not taking a bunch of space in here and then we will take it, um, I'll probably take it on Wednesday if I go to the farmer's market. Whew, all right. Kyle, what time is it? 2.55. It's 2.55. <clears throat> So by this point, I wanted to have my first load of clothes laundry in and have the bed made. So we got the clothes put away. Um, I need to make the bed. Everything's ready except for the duvet cover. I should have done this before I started the load, but when I hung it to dry, I noticed a lot of stains. So I just sprayed it down and then now it's back in the wash with my clothes but I could make the rest of the bed so I'll probably do that um next thing I need to do is meal plan all right so when it comes to meal planning I've been trying to figure out I mean this last week I tried a new method I didn't really have any strategy to meal planning and grocery shopping before this but I've been doing a little bit of research and i wanted to find a more efficient way to grocery shop meal plan so i wasn't going in aimlessly just buying a bunch of stuff and then getting home and not knowing what to do with it so basically the first step is to go through your fridge and inventory everything that you need to use so this is from last week so then from there you list out with those ingredients and the rest of the stuff that you have what are some meal ideas you can 
come up with to use those things that are going to go back. And then underneath I just put, okay, now if this is what I want to make, is there anything additional that I need um, to use up everything? And that kind of gives you a roadmap to use what's in your fridge already. And then from there you can break down, okay, I have like maybe two or three meals here to include in our meal plan this week, but I still need three more dinners and some things for breakfast or whatever it is. And that part I do on my computer. I found these templates on Etsy, I think, and they are Canva templates. So I just imported them into Canva and then I go into Canva and I edit it in there print out my list, I add the groceries that I need, print that off, and then I also gather any recipes that I want to make this week and print that off as well. And that's how I come up with our meal plan. If you want like a more in-depth video on that kind of stuff, let me know. I am going to go through our fridge and clear out any bad food that like there's just no way we can use it and then start another list of things we need to use. actually got this method from a lady on YouTube so I'll just link that in the description and then if you I'm just playing around with it and seeing what works best for me and yeah maybe I can make a video in the future once I kind of customize it to my liking couch covers are done they washed really well I think just on this one I should have spot cleaned it a little bit more because there's still some stains but these ones wash pretty well there is like this weird bunching so I'm not sure if I just didn't dry them properly and the bed is getting there almost made I uh, just need to finish wait for a couple more things to finish drying I'm really glad I went through the fridge because I remembered I have all of this leftover rice and I'm going to add it to the vegetable soup stew. It's like rice and broccoli. I made um, some orange chicken a couple of days ago and it was really good. So I might actually make that recipe again because I do have leftover sauce. So I actually could leave some of the rice for those. censor this video oh my gosh I am it's the next day I am in bed crying because I've been watching the video <laughs> of people giving birth to babies in cars I don't know how I got down this rabbit hole it's emotional it's crazy <laughs> And it's almost 10 a.m. Like, I really need to get up. I really need to get up. Because, like, I'm supposed to finish this video. <laughs> and... Uh, this is why you shouldn't go on your phone in the morning. Which is not a good idea. You gotta get out of bed. You gotta start doing stuff. Or else you'll end up like me. Alright, we need to finish this video. I need to finish this reset. 
Ugh. Let it get it all started. I watched this renovation video. A time lapse of a two year renovation. <laughs> and I'm like. They can renovate this factory in two years. I surely can reset my house in two days. <laughs> Someone's looking at me like I'm crazy. What is that look? All right, that pep talk was so inspiring. Unfortunately, it didn't really stick because I didn't record anything else the day after. But I did end up going grocery shopping that night and finish my meal plan. I literally just edited this whole video and I can't even remember what was on my list, but I'm pretty sure I finished everything on my list. So it was a very successful reset day, but it was very exhausting and i think that is why i will try to just like come up with a weekly routine where i can be in a cycle of cleaning in small increments because personally for me although i love this reset aesthetic and the videos that everyone's putting out it was just a little too much for me it was like binge cleaning not a fan very exhausting but i think if i just like didn't have as much to do it would have been more enjoyable but yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this realistic reset day and make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel love you guys and remember jesus loves you more peace that's my new myspace profile pic